I can't believe I actually pulled two alt arts in the same video. But how did I get here? Let me explain. So I got tired of opening booster boxes, EGBs, collection boxes for the last two months and getting zero decent hits. Nothing, nothing is coming. I've been on an extreme cold streak. So what I thought is let me switch it up. Let me just go and grab 21 random sleeve booster packs. I got an assortment of Astral Radiance, Chilling Rains, Vivid Voltage, Fusion Strike, Lost Origins and Battle Styles. And I thought either I can get some really good pulls or I can get some really terrible pulls. But luckily for me, it did work out. So in this video, let's open up 21 packs and see how many hits we can get. Let's start the party with Lost Origins. And something I forgot to mention is also in this video, we get a very interesting error card to pull. So make sure you watch to see that. It was very unique. I've never seen something like that before. But let's get it. We got Jinx. Inke. Scovet. How do you pronounce his name? I don't know. Phalanx, Poliwag, Stone Jower, and we got a Drapion V starting off the day with a first pack magic, first pack, first hit magic. I picked up these Lost Origins packs in the hope to pull a Giratina and get it graded myself to get that PSA 10 or even Black Label would have been beautiful. We got Ghastly, Barnacle, and ooh, Center Scorch V Max. That's a character rare hit. And we got a Gujar V double hit. So, so we got two, we got three hits in two packs. This is looking like a great opening already. Moving on to our last Lost Origins pack. Hopefully I can pull the Giratina here. Cause I honestly think that's a top three most beautiful alt art card that's been released. Let me know, is that on your top three list of alt arts? If not, what are your top three alt, art, alt arts? Leave it in the comments below, but let's get to it. Inke. Hisuin Basculin, weird looking Pokemon. And a Gengar character rare. So this, this is a card I actually have not pulled at all. So to be able to get this in this opening, I, I know I didn't get the Altar Giratina, but this is a great opening. Now let's move over to Chilling Rains. And this is actually where I get the first of my alt art that I pulled. Try taking a guess which one I do pull. There's a lot of great alt arts in Chilling Rain. And the best part is this is actually the alt art I really wanted this set and I haven't pulled it yet. So as a hint, I've pulled the Zapdos in the past and it's not the Zapdos. Sviper and the hit is a no hitter. On to the next pack. I feel like Chilling Rain was slept on for the longest time. A lot of people weren't the biggest fan, but even when it came on, I was looking at the card list. It was a lot of great cards in there. I'm not sure why people slept on it, but I feel like it's getting a bit more love now. And I do appreciate that. Weedle, Cropper, and what do we got here? Uh, Agron, that's not what we want. And this is actually going to be our last Chilling Rains pack of the day. And of course, it's got to be dramatic. And I didn't even plan, I didn't even expect it when it pulled up. So let's see what is the altar we do end up pulling here. So we got a Porygon, Storylix. And honestly, I was just watching some videos, opening packs. Didn't expect the ending because I was on such a cold streak. And then there you have it, the Galarian Moltres. And from this moment on, I knew, I don't know, this opening, I knew there was something special about it. I was getting a lot of hits and I knew something was bound to happen, but I didn't think I would get the Galarian Moltres. One of the best looking alt arts. I really do like this. Like I would say it's in my list of top five alt arts and something I really wanted to pull. Okay, brace yourselves, because now we're gonna go into the lightning round. We got battle styles over here. We got eight packs and I'm gonna do a speed run through these packs for you, all of you. And the first pack, we're gonna start off slow, then we're gonna speed up from there. And we got a Bruno as a hit. Next pack we got Artillery, so that's two hits back to back. And then we got a Corvinet. So we got three packs right now in a row. Electrovire ruined the streak. And we got a Marowak, remember this because it's gonna be a common theme. Cleadol. Marowak once again. And our last pack, what will we get? Of course we got Marowak. All right, now moving on to the set that got me back into collecting Pokemon, Vivid Vaulted, so this was actually one of the first booster boxes I bought when I got back into Pokemon. I ended up pulling my Rainbow Pikachu, one of my favorite Pokemon cards. I got it graded, got a PSA 7. And in the first Vivid Voltage pack, we got a Steel XV. And today has just been such a great day with the hits. We got two more packs to go with Vivid Voltage. And unfortunately, both of those were no hitters as you see right here. So I just saved you some time with the editing process. And this is where the weirdness happens. Like I've never seen an error like this before. Let me know if something like this has happened to you before, but I was honestly, when I was opening, I was just confused. Cause if you see right now, look at this quillfish. Like what is those like, it looks very oily. looks like it's 
I don't know, like someone dropped water on it. And when I picked it up, I tripped out. I'm like, wait a second. I'm like, did I have water on my hand or something? This is weird. But then I, and then I just put my hand across and it looks like the ink was coming off. So it seems like it's an error in a sense that this card had like, it was like overprinted. Look at, like, sorry, this, like someone used way too much ink on this card. Like look at the borders of this card. It's not even yellow. And then when you look at the back, even the back looks darker than a normal Pokemon card. And even when I touch it back, it feels weird. I would check my hand and let me flip it again. Look at the yellow borders right here. It's so weird. I've never seen error like this. I just kept it and put it inside the sleeve. But well, if you touch it, it just leaves marks. And I just didn't want to I have no idea what to say about that. It's such a strange error. But let's move on to see if we can get some more hits in today's opening. And honestly, it's been such a great opening so far. And we got a Vespa Queen. That's not what we want. We want to see something amazing out of these Astral Radiance. And if you don't know, I do have the Japanese Machamp. I believe the, yeah, the Machamp does come into Astral Radiance. Doesn't get too much love. People weren't the biggest fans of it, but there are some nice cards in it. And I would love to get an English version of the Machamp. I don't own that currently, just the Japanese, as I mentioned before. But Statler, Hoodoo, Krikotot, Sudowoodoo, my boy, and Hey, there we go, Beedrill V, our second alt art of the day. And honestly, this opening just made me so happy. I have been, as I mentioned, been on a complete cold streak and this Beedrill V is amazing. The Moltres was beautiful and we got so many other full arts in this opening. Our last pack of Astral Radiance. Unfortunately, it was a no hitter, so I skipped you the misery. Type down Gengar, I wanna see how far and how many of you actually made it this far in the video. I really appreciate it because YouTube does push a lot of videos where you have a lot of watch time as well as I just enjoy that you're here watching my content. So if you can hit that like button, that would go a long way. But let's go finish this off. Let's see if we can get any more hits. And the Feraligatr get to start off. So technically that is a hit. So today's been a good day. Let's get into pack two. I just skipped opening to save some time for all of you, Sandshrew. And we got a Genesect V and that just fell down the ground. No Genesects were hurt during the making of this video, but that is still a hit. So I will take that. And to end the video off, you won't believe what we got. Last pack magic. Absolutely nothing. Jokes. There you have it. And if you did enjoy this video, check out this other video where you can see Lugia Alt Art V being pulled. Thanks again. This is Trainer Sin. Signing out.